morning guys and welcome back to vlogmas so today i have been just working out on my work schedule doing my my you know my hours and putting everything in that i have and while i was going through now i can't obviously show you my work schedule because yeah it has a lot of information on it but let's just say today is one of only two other days that I have full days off between now and Christmas. So I've only got three full days off, including today, before it's Christmas. Now I have got, let me see, I have today and I have Saturday off, and I have next Saturday off, which is the eve before Christmas Eve. They're the only full, full days I have off. Every other day I'm working either office and night time, or both. Um. Friday is the only day, this Friday coming up is the only day before Christmas, sorry, Friday and next Monday that I have the days off but I'm working nights, so I'm working in the evening. So the reality is this morning hit me, it was like you gotta get your shit together because I have no presents in, I have nothing. I think I have a couple of selection boxes and that's it. So lads, we gotta get our shit together. So today, well this evening, it's a Monday so I'm hoping a lot of people will be in work and stuff. So I'm hoping to get out over to TJ Maxx and a shopping centre and try and get some shopping done. Um, obviously I'm shopping for everyone's gifts today. So I won't be able to show you what I buy unless I buy something that isn't a gift, which is highly unlikely. I don't have a lot to get. I don't have many gifts to get because as you know, we're going away at the end of January. So I don't have, I'm not doing a big Christmas but at the same time, I have to go with something. So I have today off. My next full day off is Saturday. Now I am not going to the shops on a Saturday. I've sort of, this is the decision and the conclusion I came to this morning over a cup of coffee. I am not going to the shops, oh, sorry, on Saturday for the simple reason is everyone and their dog will be out on Saturday because that's only two weeks before Christmas, less than two weeks, a week and a bit. Yeah, so we're not doing that. So that's going to be our clean day. We're going to get the house ready. But I actually think that's the weekend my mum and Kerry are going to come up. But I'm not sure. Because Kerry technically doesn't finish college till the 22nd of December. But she's thinking she might come up before that. Which means that is the only... Today and Saturday are the only two full days I have off. Friday I have the day off but I'm working that night so they're the only sort of three days shall we say I have to get my gifts done and the house ready. How did we end up here? Like I thought I'd all the time in the world I know it sounds terrible but it was always like I had you know a couple of weeks away now I've got three days three days that I'm fully off work because when I'm working I'm working Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and I'm working from 10 till 1 and then in the evening again and as much as people, yeah, have a couple of hours off, but you're still having to break it up and go back out again and get everything done in between. So yeah, I'd be exhausted. So two days, two days and one day, one day time off. Oh Jesus, lads, lads, what the hell is going on? So I have my list done though. That's the only good thing. Let me walk over there to give us some light. So I have list done now I'm not as I said I'm not doing mad presents for anybody I'm only getting like people two or three because we are going to America in the end very end of January but that's because we've all big birthdays coming up we've got Carl's 20th we have Haley's 21st and we have Kerry's 25th and my mum's 75th so they're all big birthdays so I sort of was like look let me save my money and I'll buy his nice gifts then for like 20th 21st 25th 75th because they're milestone birthdays. But Jesus, that's like, I have nothing, nothing, nothing. I sort of woke up this morning and came downstairs, had my coffee, said, well, let's work out what I'm going to do. You know, as you do. Because it is Monday and, you know, you look at your schedule and I thought, oh, shit. That was sort of the, the thing that went through. I think it maybe went on a bit longer than just sort of two words, but... Yeah, I had a bit of a, a, a meltdown with myself this morning going, girl, seriously, get your crap together. I knew, I'd, I, knew I was sort of pushing on time. I didn't realise I was running out of time. 
that's a big difference. Being pushed for time and running out of time is, is a whole other ball game. Anyway, I have to go upstairs. I have to um, answer a couple of emails that have come in of importance. So I need to answer them. I think about how I'm going to answer them and I'm going to go do that. I'm going to get dressed. So she would be a help. And then I'm going to see if Miss Haley wants to go over shopping. Now obviously she can't be there when I'm buying her bits. But um, yeah, and we need to get an Amazon order in. There's only two or three things I need off Amazon because I'm not doing a big shop. I'm um, The stuff that I can't, I just physically can't find. I've Googled them all over to see if Eason's anywhere does them. I can't find them. So I'm going to order them from Amazon. Hopefully they get here in time. <sighs> just can't believe it's come down to this where I'm literally running out of time. Like, And my work schedule is that I'm crazy and then I have to do extra hours in January to go away so I can get paid because I don't have enough holidays to cover the holiday oh shit show turn into a shit show lads lads right guys short time later it is now 12 o'clock and I've just texted Hayley and said are you up but then I saw a text that she sent to me on whatsapp um, at half two this morning saying mom I can't sleep I don't know if I'll be up for shopping so I've made an executive decision that I am actually going to go out now I think there's only one or two shops I need to go to for their stuff and my mum's stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fly out, grab that. I'll be quicker on my own anyway instead of trying to hide stuff from her. You know what I mean? It's just going to fly over, do that. That gives me then the rest of the day when I come home to tidy up around. I need to get washing on and stuff. I have loads of other bits I need to do. And then this evening, if she wants to go over shopping, we can do that this evening. Um, because I know the couple of shops she wants to go to are open till 9 o'clock this evening. So it means about half seven we can head out. That sounds like a plan. I've made the executive decision that that's what we're doing. So I'm not going to take you with me now at the moment because I'm flying. And obviously all the gifts and stuff I buy today, I can't show you. Because all my kids and my mother watches my vlogs. So I can't show you that. But if myself and Hayley go back out this evening, I'll show you that. Or if I go to any sh shops where I'm not buying gifts, maybe I'll show you then. Anyway, we'll sort it out. I just my main priority for today because as I said, I've only three full days off this month up to Christmas. I have two days after Christmas and then I'm back into the swing of it. So, like, we're not playing. Like, I, I can't believe I believed it so much time. I think it's because everybody was talking about Christmas being, you know, oh, you have two or three weeks left. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I looked at my schedule and went, actually, you've only got three days, bitch. Get your mood, get your shit in gear. Like, taken into account when I work. So, Anyway, that's the plan for today. I'm going to fly over, grab their gifts, come home, and then we will tackle the washing. I want to strip my bed, all that type of stuff, get all that done today, and put on my Christmas duvet cover set thing on my bobby. Get all that done today. That's done then. Done and dusted. Right, let's go. All right, guys, just got into Dundrum um, car park. And it's actually funny because, um, sorry, I'm pulling up my window. Uh, there wasn't a cure or anything and I came in and the level I came in in which is minus two remember that because I will not remember where I parked the car minus two Um I just came in car pulled out now car space so happy out I wasn't even looking for uh, parking that much so happy out let's go get these presents knocked out of the park all right guys first purchase secured and it was in a sale so I am happy out. I'm trying to think of where I need to go. I need to go up and out, I think. Outside, I might have a look at Marks and Spencer's on the way back. <coughs> the place is packed. I want to make my way out to TJ Maxx, but I don't know. Holy Jesus. So many people. Hell, it's one day of the year. I'm just powering through them all. Try not to uh, get distracted because I am very easily distracted, in fairness. It's funny, you can tell the higher end shops, they're empty, or there's an odd person in them. It's very, really quite funny. Absolute glorious day. 10 degrees, but there's no breeze, so it's actually feeling nice and mild. I'm making my way down to TK Maxx, which is down there. Hopefully, I'll pick up a lot of what I need. 
and then I can figure it out on my way back. Look at that sky, absolutely glorious. All right guys, just come out of TJ Maxx. So I have the two girls finished, bar one thing I need to get off Amazon for Hayley and one thing I need to get for Kerry. But other than that, the girls are done, just car left. All right lads, so my social battery is just about drained at this stage. You crowds of people here, it's hordes of people. So I am going to fly into Marks and Spencers. Um, I have the girls completely done now, bar two things I might not to come from Amazon. I have my mum fairly done and all that's left is Carl and the bugger won't tell me what he wants. All he keeps saying is don't be buying me anything technology or anything like that. He says, I won't, uh, it'll probably be the wrong thing and you'll end up. So I was like, right, okay. I don't want to buy him a load of chocolates or anything. So I don't know what to do. Um, I have a couple of days anyway. I might head storm with the girls and see if they can come up with any ideas. But I'm going to go into Marks and Spencer, see if there's anything nice in there, and then I'm going home. It is now three o'clock, so I'm done. I'm done. I can go home, have my coffee, and then if Hayley wants to go out this evening, I'm not working tonight. So if Hayley wants to go out tonight, we can do that, but we won't be coming back to the TK Maxx here in Dundrum. It was absolutely tiny and shite. I did get a good few things in it, but it wasn't like... Yeah, Letter Kenny, I have to say, so far is winning the prize on the best TK Max in Ireland at the moment. I love the layout of it. I love everything about it. So, right, let me go Marks and Spencer, see if I can pick up at nice. And uh, it's really food for today. Some treat. I feel like treating myself. All right, the Marks and Spencer's big mix, which, from what they say there, sounds very like their roses. They're seven fifty. Trying to see the chocolate Swiss after dinner selection. They're 8.50. The light up gingerbread house. That is nine euro. And the chocolate chip cookies light up house is nine euro. Oh, here behind me they have 6.50 for going gong for Christmas. Hand decorated milk and blonde chocolate filled with hazelnut praline. They are 650. Down here they've little robins. Looks like little robins. And these are filled with a chocolate grenache. They have this, this looks absolutely gorgeous. It is the snowy Christmas biscuit tin. And that looks gorgeous and it's filled with, it all has a musical projector with, do you know what, I'm nearly tempted to get it. Nearly, not quite, but I'd say it's gorgeous. It says it's a musical projector um, up in the ceiling with all butter, chocolate chip, shortbread and gingerbread. Sounds gorgeous. And this is the Swiss truffle assortment light up Christmas tree. And they all light up and they're sorry about that guys Haley rang me in the middle of recording so I'm just looking to see if there's anything nice even reduced down there was some watermelons it's just that time of the day where you get things like this roast pepper and pasta salad which is down to four euro Korean style sticky rice and that's reduced down to two euros so I'm gonna have a look around and I'll show you if I get anything nice Alright lads I'm just gonna show you this I actually it's 60 euro right but it's a slow cooked turkey boneless with all the trimmings it serves four so can I tilt it up and that's it there that is not bad and then there's this one slow cooked turkey crown with bacon but there's no sides on that, but that's 65. I'm trying to see, maybe they'll do one for a... There's venison. Slow cooked venison is 30... I'm not sure how much it is. That's slow cooked beef. And that is 36 euro. There's this slow cooked 
cola flavoured gammon, which is made as it serve. Sticky on the bone. That's 51 euro. Cooks in 60 minutes. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Just maybe I'll have to come up here and have a look. Oh, there's some more down here. Lamb shoulder, 13 euro. There's loads. Worth having a look, guys. Right, lads, as predicted, can't find the car. I am on minus two. I'm in zone C. But I didn't note what zone I was in when I came in. So I'm heading where I think, but I was... I was near Brown Thomas. I can't find it. There's Brown Thomas over there. So what bloody way did I come? Anyway, look, I can't find the bloody car. Right, lads, find the car. That didn't take too long. Just need to find the parking ticket now. Holy Jesus. But I think we got a lot of stuff. As I said, if Hayley wants to go out of all her stuff and carry stuff done. So, um. Happy days. I just have some stuff to get from Carl, for Carl and some stuff for my mum. Sorry, I didn't know what was else was in my boot. But uh, yeah, other than that now we uh, will be done. So I think today we will write down as a very successful day. Sorry, I'm still, I'm going to look for my car keys and I will give you a haul because I did get some stuff for myself that isn't for Christmas presents so I'll be able to show you them when I get home. All right guys just arrived home from Dundrum after doing all my shopping which I have to say was a great success. Um, My final shop was in Marks and Spencer's so I did pick up a few things to get that I got in there. I have changed my cardigan because myself and Miss Haley are heading out. She has to finish off Carl's presents and Kerry's. That's who she's in charge of buying. Um, so we're going to go out and do that but we're going over Blanchettstown this time so that could be part two tomorrow we'll go up tomorrow um, we can have a look around I don't know what shop she wants to go to so that's up to her um, I did get a couple of things they're still in the car but they're mixed in with some presents so I will sort them out and as I said anything we get tonight that isn't presents for anybody I will show you tomorrow but in the meantime, I'll give you the haul that I got from Marks and Spencers and uh, yeah, I'll show that to you. Right, so this is the little haul I got from Marks and Spencers. That's my Santa candles in the background. So this first thing I got was a sweet and sour chicken takeaway for one, served with egg fried rice, vegetable chow mein and two spring, vegetable spring rolls. So I got that. Carl probably did that now. Um, he loves sweet and sour or Haley maybe. You never know. So then as a treat for the two kids, I got them. They love cheesecake and they love chocolate. So I got them a load of, a loaded Jaffa cheesecake wedge. There's two of them in there. So I don't know if you can try to get it without the glare. That's very hard. There, that's a bit of an angle at it. So that's it there. So the kids should enjoy that. I also got three Italian meals. This was three for 12, so I just picked these up to have them. They're sort of inoffensive. Everyone eats them, so they're just really to have in the fridge. So we got a spaghetti bolognese. We also got a chicken fettuccine. That one there. And I got a spaghetti carbonara. So they're just handy to have in the fridge, come in from work or the kids are here and they want to just have something. There it is. I also got this. It's the M&S six pack salt and vinegar combo mix, which is this. Now I love these, um, but normally you used to only able, be able to get them in like the pick and mix share bag, you know, the, the tall bag. So having them in six little individual ones is lovely and the salt and vinegar is gorgeous it's real salt and vinegary so happy out with that and then i saw some fresh strawberries and these were reduced down to 161 and our Haley loves strawberries fresh strawberries so i thought well why not seeing as they're on special 
so I got that. I also got, oh yeah, here it is. I also got these. These are the Mellow and Sparkle Bubbly Bar. Which is these lads. I don't know if they remind me of Walnut Whip, but with a, like a caramel on top. But um, yeah, interesting to try them. I also got for the kids some watermelon chunks. And these again were reduced down to 250. So they'd be happy out with them tonight. And I also got a six pack of Coca-Cola because I was dying of the thirst coming out of the shop. So they were at the till. So I just picked up a six of them. So that is my little mini haul from Marks and Spencers. Right guys, so as you can see, you didn't get a whole lot in Marks and Spencers. More treaty stuff than anything. But uh, yeah, it's the season of all that splurge and whatever, you know yourselves. So Miss Haley has just come down and has said that we're going to go shopping now in a minute. So any shop in particular you want to go to Haley? No, not really. No, not really. Just going to go over and have a look. Yeah. Right. So what I'll do is tomorrow when I'm in work, I'll sort out the stuff that isn't presents that I bought and I can do a haul with you tomorrow and anything we buy tonight that isn't presents we can show tonight. But if not, or we show tomorrow. No, we're just really going present hunting. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll just show you around the shop. Who knows? Who knows what tonight? The pens, they won't see it till after Christmas. Yeah. You all watch the video. That's true. Right. Okay. Lads, I'm going to leave it there. As I said, I'm heading back out the door to do more shopping with Haley. So part two of this video will be up tomorrow. And I will go through anything else I bought.